I'm in with Archie Gamble, and I am a drummer from London, Ontario, Canada. I have the uh, privilege and good fortune of being able to make a living as a musician, and, which means I play with a number of bands, and I also have the uh, opportunity to tour Canada quite a bit. So a lot of my friends ask me what it's like to be on the road, and it's sometimes hard to describe. So I made a little mini documentary. I took my flip cam on the road with me and filmed as much of the experience as I could on a 10-day tour of British Columbia and Alberta. Six shows over 10 days uh, with an ACDC tribute band called Who Made Who that I uh, occasionally play with and tour with. So uh, this is uh, the result of my efforts and hopefully you enjoy it and it gives you some insight as to what it's like to be on the road. Enjoy! Day one. It is 5 a.m. on Thursday, November 17th, 2011. And uh, I just got in from a previous night gig about two hours ago. I haven't gone to bed. Um, I've been up since noon yesterday and will be up until Friday morning. Um, but for our purposes today, let's say that our day starts at 5.30 when the car comes to pick me up, to take me to the airport. So as you can see, I've got my bags packed and ready to go. Uh, spend a little time with my boy Chuck before I leave. And it's off to the airport in a half hour. All right, it is a brisk November morning. Uh, the sun hasn't come up yet, as you can tell. Um, I'm out front of my apartment building waiting for the car to collect me to take me to the London airport. Uh, it is a little over zero degrees uh, Celsius. Um, where we're going, ultimate destination for show one, is Fort St. John, British Columbia. And the temperature there is minus 17 with a minus 20 wind chill. So even in mid-November, we haven't yet had any snow in London. But I'm going to be flying into the thick of winter. Part of the job. Um, so the car will be here to take us to the airport and the journey begins. Here we are at London International Airport, where we are about to check in baggage and myself uh, for a 7 a.m. flight to Calgary, Alberta. Um, we will be meeting the band, the rest of the band, at the Calgary Airport at, inside the terminal. They are flying from Hamilton uh, to Calgary. It's easier for me to fly from London, being my city. Uh, from there, we will uh, get onto a connecting flight to take us to Grand Prairie, Alberta. Once we get to Grand Prairie, we will deplane and pick up a rental van and uh, take the rental van, drive th about three hours northwest, crossing over to the British Columbia border up the Alaskan Highway to Fort St. John, BC. <laughs>
safely and soundly on board. The West Shield uh, stop in for the accommodating very helpful. And uh, just boarding now, getting ready to take off. Down the road. Here we are on Grand Prairie, and uh, you can see what the weather's like. And uh, we're here, we made it one piece. We're gonna pick up the luggage and the guitars, and then we're gonna pick up the rental van, and then we're gonna head to uh, Fort St. John for the show, sold out show at the Lebo Theater. And here's the boys. What do you think, Peter? What do you have to say about the What's situation? I'm still scared from the flight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Scooter? What do you have to say about this? It's very cold in Alberta. Joe. I want to go home. <laughs> I'm scared. We just got off the plane. And yeah, Joe wants to go home. Which one's that? Oh, yeah? All right, here we are. We are on the Alaskan Highway right now. We're at the side of the road. Uh, Here's some irony for you. We traveled to the other side of the country, made great time, we're early, and got 20 minutes outside of Fort St. John, and uh, we've been here for about 90 minutes, <laughs> waiting literally an hour and a half at the side of the road. Here's what's going on. Well, we don't know what's going on, actually, but there's a lineup of cars and trucks, as far as the eye can see, in front of us and behind us. We've literally been at a standstill out here for uh, about an hour and 20 minutes, almost an hour and a half. So, we don't know what's going on. Uh, rock and roll, folks. Rock and roll. Well, we're finally here at Fort St. John. After uh, more than two hours uh, in standstill traffic at the side of the road due to some kind of accident. But hey, we're here. And good news is, the show will rock. And even better news is that it's a sold out show, apparently. Theater Theater, made who? Here we have the venue. All right, after a long uh, day of travel, we are at the Lido Theater and uh, set up, sound check done after a two hour traffic delay, but uh, we're here on time. We're just waiting for some food to arrive, and uh, it's, a, it's a lovely place. It used to be a, a movie theater from the 50s, and it's been restored. Beautiful dressing room here. 
with a view down overlooking the theater. Stage and uh, theater. And uh, it's very nice that someone taking the time to make a nice venue. <laughs> Hi, Pete. Hey, what's going on? Downstairs here, have a look. Uh, the lobby. Very nice overall. What they've done with the place looks great. And here we have a bunch of reprobates hanging around Let's drinking beer. What do you think about that, Joe? What are we doing? What do you think? Yeah? I agree. I feel better. That's Tits McGee right there. She's beautiful. She's mine. Can't have it. What's wrong? My foot. And here we are. We've got it outside, ladies and gentlemen. That white stuff you see on the ground is no. Lots of it. Well, we'll show uh, us on the show tonight. We're going to rock. share it with and a jacuzzi so there we go very uh, fitting end to a long day it is now 2 1 a.m. Uh, local time BC time and I've been awake since sorry it's uh, Friday at 2 1 a.m. I've been awake since noon on Wednesday <laughs> And uh, I just drove back from the bar. Everybody's wasted drunk. So I took it super slow and drove down the, uh, a couple miles down the road to the hotel. So this is my reward, I guess. It's this elaborate bed and suite. So uh, it's been a crazy, uh, I don't know how many hours I've been awake, but it's been a long time. And I, I'm going to have a jacuzzi. Go to bed. So day two begins tomorrow. And see you then. All right, it is the beginning of day two, and it's about uh, I think 1:30 ish local time. We're just leaving uh, Fort St. John, BC, and uh, we we had a late checkout, and it's a good thing we did because I slept in. Boo. But once I finally did get to sleep in that ridiculous King Tut suite, uh, I slept like the dead. Anyway, we just had some uh, breakfast at McDonald's and we're uh, going to pick up some necessary items for the road. <laughs> and uh, then we're off to Grand Prairie, Alberta. And uh, we're going to rock the fucking house tonight, baby. So we will check in shortly. Here we are in Grand Prairie, and it is uh, 5:24 on Friday, uh, November 18th. The second show of the tour. We're at BJQ, BJ's Q Club, rather. And uh, I didn't think I'd ever been here before, but once we got here, I realized that I had, in fact, played here with the Joys uh, a few years back. And uh, let's go inside and have a look at 
BJQs and see what it's all about. Hey, you reprobates. Uh, what do you like so far? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and you, Dad? Anything to say to yourself? You come over here. Welcome to Grand okay. Prairie. We're talking to everybody. Come the fuck up here. What are you waiting for? Okay, it's uh, Saturday morning and we're at Denny's and uh, we're on our way to Grand Cash for the third show. But we have a we have a situation here at Denny's right now. I, I think Scooter's going to explain it to you. Scooter, what's the situation? I don't like sitting this close to you. It's pretty simple. Yeah, but tell people at home what's going on exactly. Just, just show, the, show them what space we got here. This guy's got lots of room. Look at me Joe. Two fat guys. Yeah, I know, eh? So, Scooter feels that there's not enough room for him at this booth, well, so he has requested. Uh, where we put this? He's requested uh, another 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 booth with a larger or a table, so he has more room. And uh, that's fine. That's the way it's gonna be. Is that the way it's gonna be? That's the way it's gonna be. <laughs> where do we not eat? I think that's gonna have to be the way it's gonna be. <laughs> that is the way. It's gonna be. Uh, from your conclusion. It's gonna sit over there. Onion rings, casseroles, What about uh, mashed potatoes?
All right, here we are at the Grand Cash uh, Hotel. We're checked in, sound check is done, and uh, we're eating dinner presently. I'm relaxing in the room, waiting for room service. Very, very nice people, nice club, great production, great crew, uh, and very thoughtful too. Check out this little um, tidbit here. Little note they left for us. And uh, accompanying, accompanying the note is a couple of flowers. Oh, nice. What do you think of that, Peter? I would have been happier if they left us some rolling papers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could uh, dry out the petals and smoke those. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, just going to have dinner and relax for a couple of hours and watch the Lawrence Walk show. And then we're going to rock the Grand Cash Hotel, the Rockies uh, nightclub. We're going to melt their fucking faces off. All right, we're in Grand Cash, Alberta. And it's pretty high altitude up in the mountains. Um, nice place. Very nice people. The air is very dry. Um, so we're heading back from my hotel room, which is uh, adjacent to the club. Back to the club. And... Uh, we're heading into the band room here, where we've got the wonderful Scooter Vaughn and uh, my sexy friend Joe. Hello. Hello. Just killing some time, Hello. drinking some alcohol. The Who Made Who Christmas tree. <laughs> so, the first set was a little slow, but um, there's some people that are into it and dancing, so we're hoping that uh, stop number two. It's a little more um, exciting. Exciting. <laughs> what do you think, Scooter? I hope it's a little more exciting. Yeah. Not that that's not. Not that that's not exciting. It's just it's mm -hmm. like we're in their in their way. Yeah. You know. We're inconvenient. We're inconvenient. And I didn't have enough alcohol in me to perform mm -hmm. my best. <laughs> yeah. I'm six beers behind schedule yeah. right now. Yeah. Hmm. But there's a uh, good, very good PA. Sound man's good, loud PA, good, lots of balls to it. Uh, good stage kit, nice uh, jamma drum kit. That sounds good. Big 24 inch kick drum. Sounds almost as good as my kick drum. Uh, a couple good marshals and a uh, little lamp peg. So uh, we're gonna go back and we're gonna win them over with set number two, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? I hope so, for fuck's sakes. It's all the good songs. <laughs> fuck this up, we're in trouble. Hi, I'm Charlie Brown, and I'm the manager of Rocky's Bar and Grill in Grand Cash, Alberta. Woo! I'm Chris DeZorek, owner of Dawes Productions, and I'm the host sound tech at Rocky's Bar and Grill. And we had a killer show. All right, so what did you guys think? Did you have a good time tonight at the Who Made Who show? You guys were amazing. Incredible. Yeah, awesome. I think people seemed to enjoy it. It was fun. Yep, for sure. And now you guys are taking care of the important business. <laughs> I don't anymore, but I live vicariously through them. <laughs> so. so there's no way around you? Like there's no... Back to the debit tip? No, that sucks. What do I get for my $20? Good scenery? Oh, it's good scenery. <laughs> Driving to uh, Banff. Or Camor, sorry. And, uh, Jasper National Park right now. We're driving through it. To get to Camor. Booth entrance to Jasper.
those are deer, those are fucking goats or something. Mountain goats. Fucking cool. <laughs> Holy fuck, look at these ones over here. Oh, rams. Guys are out on the road. They don't even care, right? They do what they do and they're gonna move when they move. If you don't like it too bad. Okay, here we are at the Camel Hotel, affectionately known as the Ho, uh, a favorite spot of Who Made Who, and uh, we, we drove seven hours to get here from Grand Cache, but it was a beautiful drive. We drove through uh, Jasper National Park and Lake Louise and uh, through a whole mountainous district. It was amazing. Um, we saw a herd of, uh, like I guess there'd be mountain goats at the side of the road. We had to stop for them when they were grazing and on the road, it wouldn't move for anybody. And then uh, I saw a big beautiful owl, we saw some deer. It was a beautiful day, we drove past, uh, past the ice fields and I'll be posting some of that footage. It, uh, it's been a long but uh, fun day. Once we got here, we checked in and uh, cleaned up and napped, you know, and uh, went downstairs and jammed. It's jam night here at the home every Sunday. And the house band features a couple friends of ours uh, Murph Martin in particular on bass guitar from London, Ontario, and Shane Evans, a friend of ours also from London who lives out here. So we had a fun jam and uh, Dan, myself, uh, and Pete formed a little super group, The Unterribles, and we all switched roles. I sang, Dan played drums, and uh, Pete played guitar. So it was interesting, an interesting combo. The debut of, uh, appearance of The Unterribles and also the uh, final show. So, anyway, it was a lot of fun and it's been a good day. Now, we're looking forward to a couple of days off in one of the most beautiful places in the world, Canmore, Alberta. We're going to go over to Banff for uh, the hot springs and do some touristy kind of stuff. So, I will check in with you tomorrow. All right, here we are, day five of the tour. Uh, a day off, actually, a couple of them. So, we'll probably combine days five and six into one video digest. Uh, I don't know if you can see the behind, mountains behind me or not, but I'm in Canmore, Alberta. It's a beautiful sunshiny day. It is brisk though. It's minus nine degrees out, but uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous all part of the country. And uh, we are playing Wednesday night here at uh, the Canmore Hotel. As you can see. There's Pete up in the window. He's gone now. Anyway, we take a walk around this beautiful town. And, uh, get a look at what it is we're going to be enjoying for the next few days. Beautiful. We're lucky to be here.
here we have it ladies and gentlemen the Cam Gillespie Memorial statue every time I come to Cam War I see this and it <laughs> will be away how much it looks like Cam sorry Cam but it does so from this point on I um, I suggest that we call this place Cam War instead of Cam War Okay, here we are at the, at the Ho on our, our day off, uh, the fifth day of the tour, of the 10 day tour. Uh, I've been up walking around and enjoying lovely scenery and the boys have been having a few cocktails. We're going over to the Drake for karaoke and uh, here's my brother Joe. Love what the you, Drake. What do you say, Joe? What do you got in your hands there? Fucking beer in this one and a case under this one. And, and uh, how many is that today? It's actually probably only like 11. <laughs> what, time, what time do you guys start pounding them back? Two. This afternoon? Yeah. What time's it now? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's just the warm up. We're going out. Yeah, it's just... Scooter's in the other room making himself pretty. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go sing some karaoke. Uh, All right, here we are in the deluxe uh, Pete suite. So, Pete, tell us about your day so far. Well, today I got up. Went to the bar, had something to eat, and had some drinks, and now I'm back to here, have a shower, go back to the bar. And now? Have a shower, go back to the bar. And do what? Have some more drinks. And a little karaoke, I might do some Beach Boys. <laughs> That's right, buddy. Yeah. Right, well, we're going down the hall to see what our manly biker-like uh, bandmates are doing. Pete, our bass player, and and Joe on guitar, probably the know, scariest guys in rock and roll right now, or polishing up their biker, leather biker Absolutely. boots, or, you know, get the switchblades ready, I don't know, they're probably doing something like that. Wow! What's going on? Or they could be doing their hair for a night at the Drake Karaoke, baby. Alright, here's the Who Made Who street gang, terrorizing the, the streets of Camora. Where are we off to, boys? The Drake! Hate the Drake. What's going on at the Drake, Joe? Oh, some karaoke. That's right. I've got to love the Drake. Everybody likes a little. Here's curious. the famous Camor Minor. You can't see him too well because it's dark, but. <laughs> Very strange phenomenon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I checked the weather network this morning before I came out for breakfast, and it was about uh, minus 9, minus 10. The thermometer now reads zero. It's actually warmer at night than it was in the daytime, which is very strange. But that's how it is. Anyway, we're off to the Drake for the Monday Night Karaoke, which is a lot of fun. And uh, check in shortly. Here we are at the Drake. About to enter. I have good memories of this place. Um, played here with uh, a band, The Joys, that I was in. And uh, it was fun, a fun gig party afterwards was very memorable too because uh, uh, Theo Fleury, the hockey player, had come to our show. A friend of mine had brought him from Calgary. Yes, and uh, well, as, as much discretion as I can use. Uh, there was a lot of partying going on that night. Ironically, both he and I have stopped uh, partying, so, uh, but it was a good night. So here we are at the Drake. Singing after dark, 
thank y'all. Sometimes I want to say. Sometimes I say to myself, and y'all, let me hear you. Here I am, rather, um, doing laundry on a day off, 
in uh, Canmore. Actually, it's not a day off tonight. Today's the show day, but um, we've had uh, two days off. We got here Sunday night late and checked in with Monday and Tuesday off, and uh, as well as this afternoon. A gig tonight. Uh, should be a good one. Canmore is usually a good gig for us, usually a good turnout. And then uh, there's talk of moving on tomorrow, which is another day off, to spend it in Medicine Hat, where we're playing Friday. So we just very well may do that. Canmore is really beautiful, but after a couple of days, there's really much to do. The town shuts down pretty early, and it's pretty small. Um, so we're talking about going to Medicine Hat tomorrow to enjoy our day off and uh, be in a city again. So uh, that's probably what's going to happen. So we'll see how the show is tonight. Alright, here we are. Uh, we are leaving Camworth after being here for uh, since Sunday. It's now Thursday morning. We got here Sunday night. Uh, a couple days off. Played a gig last night. The gig was pretty good. It was fun. And um, now we're heading to Medicine Hat, or a suburb of Medicine Hat, Redcliffe, where we play tomorrow night. We got a day off there today. And. Uh, so we're just going to take a quick look around at what it is we're saying goodbye to. So off we go. Red Cliff is sure to be a fun show. And uh, it'll be a fun night off, that's for sure. And what do you have to say about all this, Scooter? I'm happy with that Red Bull. It's good enough. <laughs> Try it. Red Bull for breakfast. Joe? Hey. What do you got to say for yourself? Very excited about the wonton soup coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Hunter. What's up? What do you got to say for yourself? I can't wait to watch a real TV. I see. It. Peter. I'm going to miss the mirror game. <laughs> there you go, folks. Right from the horse's mouth. We'll check in later tonight. Great Rocky Mountains to the great flat nothing. Scooter, what do you think about leaving Camworth? I'm sad. You glad to leave? No, I fucking miss it already. Do you want to move there? I do want to move there. Really? What is it you love about Camworth? Just the mountains. Yeah. That, what else? That bed that I was sleeping in was so comfy. Yeah. Why? It sucked. What about you, Joe? What do you think about this? Uh, that we're moving on to Medicine Hat. I think it's great. You're happy with it? Why is that? It's not enough. Enough's enough. Uh, okay, yeah, enough. Can more? Yeah. Were, you, were you bored? Very bored. Very bored. Yeah. Uh, what about you, the hippie? What do you think? About what? Well, are you are you glad we're leaving Canmore? Yes. Okay. Uh, why? Because I had nothing to do there. Nothing to do, but it is beautiful. Yeah, but that gets boring. old quick. Yeah. You know, look around, and then that's over. Okay. What do you think, Dan? Are you happy to be going to Medicine Hat? Change of environment's always good. So there you have it. Scooter wants to buy a condo in Canmore, 
and uh, I just want to see some titties and go to a movie. I don't think it's too much else, but, you know, I work hard, I get a night off, I want to see a movie, and I want to see some boots. Here we are at the side of the road, uh, we're on the uh, Trans-Canada Highway, heading east towards Medicine Hat from uh, Camoy. we we'll stop for a little smoke break. Hey, Joe. Dirty Dan. What's up? The Rock and Roll Man. And as you can see, there's lots of wheat, grain silos, and, uh, Prairie, as far as the eye can see, which is funny, you know, you come from the mountains to, to that, that's part of the beauty of Canada, right? The extremes that we have, go right from the mountains right to the prairies. Anyway, we're off to Medicine Hat, and uh, we got about another two hours or so to go, driving, and then the night off, so I might go and take, take in a movie. Happening. And uh, that's about it. Well, we just entered Medicine Hat and uh, we're gonna go check into a hotel or a motel. I don't know what we're gonna do. But uh, I'm sure it'll be fun. We just passed Red Cliff, which is a suburb of uh, Medicine Hat. That's where we're playing tomorrow. Tonight we're going into the big city, the big city of Medicine Hat. And uh, who knows what kind of shenanigans we'll get up to. What do you think, Scooter? I know what I'm doing. Joe? Alright. Love medicine ride. high. You Love can, it. You can ride, but you can't hide, Pete. <laughs> it's one of my fears. The camera is omnipresent. And, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. Should be interesting. I think I'm going to try and find a movie theater. See if there's anything interesting playing. Yeah. Well, let's see what's happening. Okay, I've been uh, coming out here uh, on tour since 1987 into Alberta, and sometimes playing Medicine Hat, sometimes just driving through. But every single time, I've always uh, been intrigued by the Ranchman Motel, which we're approaching right now, because it has a giant <laughs> wooden cowboy for a sign. And I've always wanted to stay here just because the, the, the sign is just so appealing. So the last time I was out here with Who Made Who, we did stay here. We decided to try it out. And that's where we're going now. And uh, it ain't exactly the Hilton, but it's cheap. And it's got a giant cowboy for a sign. Never been more glad that you're clean. Awesome. What? Well, okay, what happened? We get arrested. Hey, man. I'm just watching TV, bro. Yeah, no, no. Come on, man. Give me some dirt. Talk to Joe. Okay, Joe? Hey. No, we're on cop's medicine hat. We okay, you cats were uh, we taking went. a little uh, herbal medicine? We went for some soup. Yeah. We finished. We went out in the parking lot. We had a cigarette. Pete had a joint. And then he saved <coughs> like, uh, some of the roach. And when we turned the corner and came up the street a bit, cops pulled us over. Uh, came, up to, <laughs> came up to my side of the window. I rolled it down. He's like, how you doing tonight? Blah, blah, blah. Where are you coming from? Are you a band? Do you have uh, weed in the car? I'm like, no. He's like, well, I've been doing this a long time. I can smell it. I'm like, <coughs> we've been doing it a long time, too. <laughs> Like he, uh, he he called back up in and uh, they they one at a time they put uh, they searched us one at a time yeah. put us in the two cruisers and put us under arrest for suspicion of possession. What? Yeah. And then so, they, they searched the van. So they searched the van and they come back and says you're right. There's nothing in there. I'm like, I know. Did they search you personally? Oh, on yeah. your person? We had to empty our pockets on the cop car hood and trunk. And, and they let you go. And uh, they went through. <coughs> they were opening up the bags and smelling yeah, yeah. them. 
and I asked him how he liked the smell of the stage. Uh, you know, <laughs> No, they weren't that bad. So then what happened? Like, they just said, sorry, I'll let you guys go? Shook our hands. So have a good time. Wow! But, Unbelievable! But it was worth the trip to get the soup. <laughs> <laughs> Better be some good fucking soup, I tell you. Man, I sleep through all the good stuff. Yeah. Thank you for the story, Joe. We were hoping, like, me and Dan were in the back seat of the one cruiser. Yeah. And we were hoping you were wandering around with that thing in your hand. <laughs> and that's one time I wish I had been present just to get it on video. Oh my God. Too much excitement for one day, ladies and gentlemen. Well, after the misadventure uh, with the cops, uh, the other guys are just hanging in the room, smoking the pot that the police never found. Um, and I'm going to go to a movie. So uh, I was waiting for a taxi to come and take me to theater. And uh, it's not really a lot I want to see playing, but cooped up in the room all day and the van also and uh, three days in Canmore with you know which is beautiful but there's nothing uh, to do really outside of nature uh, anyway I need to go see a movie and get something to eat so uh, we were checking out Crazy Night Life in Madison High good times so here's a bit of fun I'm at the theater, in the theater, and I'm the only person here. Let's have a look around. Got people that are crazy. DreamWorks Puss and Roots invites you to enjoy the show. So either I picked a pickle of a movie to see, or uh, Thursday night is just not a movie night. That doesn't happen. So this will be interesting. I don't know if anyone else will be joining us before the movie starts, but... Uh, Okay, I just went to see uh, a movie that was absolutely terrible. And after the movie, I went to McDonald's and uh, then I wandered into this hotel. And in the lounge of the hotel, I met two very, uh, very nice and interesting people. This is Jerry. Jerry. And Kim. And here we are, and we're in the lounge. Uh, the, uh, We're at the other lounge and it closed down that we're taking out to this one, which is in, uh, right next to the adjoining casino over there. They call it the which Elements we will go Lounge. On. I don't know. I don't know why they call it the Elements Lounge exactly. Yep. Well, we're gonna go over there. I probably do some of my way. But uh, it's been very fun talking. My friends here for, are from Saskatchewan. We love Saskatchewan. They were I'm telling me about from Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Love Saskatchewan. I love Canada, really, period. I love Saskatchewan also. I've toured there many, many times. Great place. Right. Canada is definitely Just one of the nice best countries you can live in. The world's largest TV. What do you think of that? The world's largest TV? Do you have an opinion about that? Uh, I think it's, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there we go. All right, day eight of the tour. Uh, we are in downtown Madison Hat. We just checked out of our motel that we stayed at last night for our day off. We're checking into another motel in Madison Hat. And the gig's in Redcliffe at a hall. Um, Redcliffe is a suburb of Madison Hat. We're going there a little later on tonight. Right now we're downtown Madison Hat, just uh, having some food. Well, sometimes when you're on tour, yeah, you get shows where the promoters don't promote the show at all. They hope that somebody will uh, just spread the word that there's a band playing, or they'll put up one or two posters. And then you get guys like this guy in front of us. Coincidentally, on the way to the gig, uh, we just happened to be driving behind this guy. We knew nothing about this advertising, so that's kind of cool. So obviously, he's um, promoting the show, and I thought it was a good turn up. Right, Scooter? You got it. The venue in Mendelssohn Hat is the Harmony Hall, it's like a community center, uh, banquet hall kind of thing. And, uh, by looks of things, we get to sell them well. It should be a good night. Getting a stage gear all set up, and then. 
and we're gonna here we are off the sound check, uh, which went great. Great sound crew and uh, good stage gear, ready to rock. So now we're doing a little bit of pre-show um, relaxation. I'll, I'll get in. I don't And uh, we're here to get ready for the big rock show. Right? This little Eddie. It was good. I'm not good with pictures. <laughs> Are you shy now? I've never seen you get so shy for so quickly. Let's oh, go for a smoke. Look, Joe. She's okay. very photogenic. I know. That's a pretty good show, eh? All right. I'm going to show you. Yeah. You're for a smoke? Suck us away there. No. Good times. 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 Everything. Are you scooter? Right here we are on the morning of the ninth day of the tour. Saturday morning. Where uh, we just checked out of the hotel in, in Madison Hat. And we're heading to Lethbridge after some breakfast. Uh, we're gassing up the van, getting, getting supplies. And uh, we have a day off, night off. So we're going to probably go out and enjoy ourselves. And tomorrow we have a show. Um, it's a pre-football game. What's, it's a big football game tomorrow? I don't even know. Great cup. cup. Great cup party tomorrow. We're playing before the game. We're 90 minutes set. Then we're done the tour. Then we fly home Monday morning. So, uh, the boys are ready to head to, to Lethbridge for a night off. Gaffing up the van. Sunday, November 27th, uh, day 10 of the tour, last show day of the tour. It's uh, about 20 to 12 in the afternoon. I'm in Lethbridge, Alberta, and we're heading over to Average Joe's to play the last show of the tour at 2.30 this afternoon. It's a pre uh, Grey Cup party. And then we're done. Uh, tomorrow we fly home. Um, fairly early, we gotta leave for the airport around 6 a.m. My flight's not until noon, but the guys have a flight at 10. So, just sitting in the lobby of the hotel waiting for the rest of the band to come. And uh, we went out last night, had some fun, went to a couple of clubs, had some food, uh, including uh, the club we're playing today, average shows, we went there. And it was funny for me to realize that um, it was an entirely new club. I had, in fact, played there before. They had a previous location, so they built a new location, uh, literally from the ground up. It was a, a brand new club. Uh, it's very nice. It's big. The owner and the staff are great. So it should be a fun afternoon. And then it's going to be a little odd, uh, killing the rest of the day and, and uh, being up on time for uh, 6 a.m. And uh, in the van, drive to Calgary Airport and fly home. All right, we got Joe out here waiting to be here for the show. What do you think, Joe, about the situation? What do you think about a daytime show? It's going to be awesome. Get Good drunk be. as fuck and uh, fly home early. Nice. I can't wait. Hey, we're drinking like today. Today I'm going to. Oh, now you're good at it. For free. Oh, this guy's Game crazy, on. man. You can't keep up with him. Yes, yes no, yes, no. <laughs> nice what do you shoes. think about this? It's fucking freaking me out. Those new boots market. Get some get his new boots. Yeah, they're comfy. Hey, nice kicks, buddy. Let's have a close yeah. up on those. Let's bring shoes. Those are sexy. Yeah. Joe don't mess around. They feel like a good pair of ice skates. <laughs> <laughs>
fucking great show, I think. Really. Thanks, Scooter. Yeah, that was a great show. Good energy, yeah? Good energy. Crab was fun. Crab How you doing, man? Hey, you guys did a hell of a job. Hell of a job. <laughs> it was fun, man. But now, uh, apparently, we rocked so hard, we set Lethbridge on fire. Because there is something going on out there. And, uh... <laughs> we have caused destruction and mayhem in the city of Lethbridge, Alberta. Yeah! All right, you clown. You're on TV. Tour is done. Tour is done. What do you think? Think it went great. Good fun. Fist fights. What do you think? Fantastic. Good one? Huh? Good tour? That's a great tour. What do you think? What's going on, man? It's that beefy pot. No. Come on. I believe you, but I'm going to I want a final summation here. Take some of this. We hope you say it was great. It wasn't long enough, though. It's the sheep then. Did <laughs> <laughs> you have fun, Joe? Did we rock? What do you think, Scott? We rock pretty hard. I think we rock too. And it's really fucking hot. Way too fucking hard to do. So, uh, I'm gonna uh, hang out until the end of the game. We're back to the hotel. We're gonna go out. Never over, buddy. Hi, how you doing? Good. Hey, are you done? Are you zooming in on my seabed? Here we are. It's 5.30 a.m. on Monday, the 28th. The 28th? But Ben's laughing at me because I look like a nine-year-old boy. But I don't care. I'm going, uh... Geek is my look for today. Anyway, it's the 28th, I think, of November. It's the last, uh, 11th and last day of the tour. It's travel day. We're uh, just outside of the uh, Coast Hotel in lovely Lethbridge, Alberta. Nice hotel. Uh, what do you think, guys? Hey, we've been here two days. Love this place. <laughs> Treated us pretty yeah. fucking good. So uh, yesterday was the last show. It was really good, and it's been a fantastic tour. I was just loading up the uh, the mystery machine here. We're heading to the two-hour drive to Calgary, to the airport. Drop off the van. And the guys are going to fly to Hamilton, and I'm going to fly to London. So uh, we're all operating on no sleep, but uh, that's rock and roll for you, right? So we'll see you in a bit. Calgary Airport, uh, scooters dropping off the rental van, and then we're going to go up to the West Gate, uh, West Jet uh, counter and, and uh, check in. Everybody's tired, but feeling good. It's been a, it's been a good tour. <laughs> that is the peak face. Smile, Joe. Calgary Airport, we're at the gate for the guys to board their flight to Hamilton. This is where we part ways. So, uh, we'll see you, buddy. Good tour. What do you think? It's good. Awesome. All right. See ya. Drive yeah. safe. Yeah. safe. Great for you, right? Good job. Here we are, guys. Take care. Yeah, you too. Good tour, ma'am. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah, you too. All right. Take care. All right, buddy. See you soon, Peter. Hey. Okay, here I am at my gate. Uh, the boys just boarded their flight to Hamilton. And uh, 
and we had to come together, of course. So I'm a little early for my flight. It's um, 9.42 and my flight, but that's uh, 12.15. So I board at 11.45, so I got a little bit of time to kill. And uh, I'm gonna read or get something to eat. Maybe have enough. I'll check in once we get home. to run into my friend uh, Danny with a flight attendant. I haven't seen her in a few years actually and uh, she was kind enough to offer me a ride home so that's pretty cool. So just waiting for the luggage to come down the carousel and then uh, home to eat, shower, uh, go play another gig. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Oh. 